NYPD's had the boot on this tow truck for almost two weeks, preventing Jose Rodriguez, pictured here, from doing his job. Ironically, his boss says he got the boot because he was doing his job. May 30th, the company Finest Towing was alerted that a bank wanted this car on Richmond Terrace for repossession. Rodriguez hooked it up for a tow and abruptly found out the driver is a detective at the 120th precinct across the street. Rodriguez's manager, Caroline DiStefano, had just authorized the tow. He called me right back and I, he didn't speak. I just heard him say, I didn't see a plaque in the window. He hung up. I knew it had to be a cop's call because I heard him say a plaque. So then he was surrounded by um, a couple of off-duty cops and then they called over other cops and he got arrested for having a stolen car when we had a repossession order for it. The detective allegedly offered to pay Rodriguez for the three missed car payments, but Finest Towing says it's illegal for it to collect debt. Only the bank can do that, and only the bank can authorize a car to be released. But allegedly, police took the car off the tow truck themselves and put Rodriguez in jail for about a day. He used his his authority to drop the car himself. De Stefano says the officers confiscated the truck's cameras, but this photo of an officer dismantling a recording device was automatically uploaded to a storage cloud. Rodriguez says when he was first arrested, he was charged with a felony for possession of stolen property. But then when he appeared in court, his charges were changed to misdemeanors. The Staten Island District Attorney charges Rodriguez's truck did not display its license plate properly and he did not have a New York City towing license. The city's Department of Consumer Affairs says drivers who pick up tows are required to have a Department of Consumer Affairs license, but Finest Towing and several others we spoke with argue it depends on the tow. You don't need a DCA license for repossession jobs because those are considered private, unlike for higher toes, such as when a car is disabled or in an accident. Monday on New York One, the mayor was asked about the incident. I haven't seen the details, but if it is that kind of thing, that's unacceptable, and there would be huge consequences for those cops. Rodriguez and his attorney won't speak on camera, but they met with the NYPD Internal Affairs Bureau last night. The NYPD declined our multiple requests for an interview. In the St. George section of Staten Island, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.